Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 76. I thought I'd better get uh, a quick video out to tell you the status of the Bofang, however it's pronounced, HT Radio. I ordered it on Tuesday, and I got it Friday, today. So that was a good surprise. The bad surprise was... It was a bummer. Now, I saw something when I went to order it. I noticed that there was now a new model out, a UV5RA. And I checked the internet, and apparently this was an Americanized version. It had an American voice for the prompts and everything. And it had some additional features that the old one didn't have. I didn't find um, much in the way of reviews of it. I guess because it's brand new. So I thought, well, I don't. I want to like to have the latest one. So I ordered the latest one, which was the R A for North America, and apparently there's an R E for Europe. Well. The one thing I noticed in the ad was they had a shiny surface area on the front of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the Amazon page and show you the problems it had. Stand by. Okay, this is my um, Amazon, <clears throat> excuse me, store, and I had, right when I purchased it, I had added this new version of the Bofang Fing, whatever it is, HT. Uh, it is now a UV-5RA. Here's the old one, UV-5R. So. There's only two dollars difference, and I had heard that there were some new features on this, so I ordered this one. So um, here it is, and let's go to the uh, Amazon site itself. <clears throat> okay, here is the uh, here's the ad for it on Amazon, and the one thing I noticed that I didn't particularly like is this area right here, this speaker grill, appears to be metal. Instead of being one solid case here, this seems to be bolted on or screwed on or something. And there was one picture, no, I guess it's not on this site, somewhere else I saw it, that this, um, this piece of metal looked kind of cheap looking. Unlike the previous version where this was all one, the front cover of the case was all one piece and was all plastic or metal or something. So I didn't particularly like that. But since it was had the new features down here, it says, you know, 2013 latest version, more stubborn case. Nah, that's probably this metal thing they're talking about and enhanced features. And I believe this one has uh, the FM band for listening to FM radio, which I don't think the other one did. I'm not positive about that. So anyway, I went ahead and purchased this one for $45, and it had the option for free shipping. So I thought, well, usually with free shipping, it takes a week, 10 days to get it, because they ship it the cheapest way possible. Well, I ordered it on this last Tuesday, and I got it today. So I was elated. Well, I knew I was in trouble when I brought the box in for the mailbox. <clears throat> Something was loose inside. So that was not a good sign to begin with. And, and when I opened up the outer box, the um, there was an inner box, and they had used two of these bubble balloon type uh, pecking devices and both of them, both of them were busted 
they were they were deflated. So that kind of concerned me right there. Is that, you know that it could have been a had gotten a pretty big hit. So I went ahead and since the box that the radio was in was not sealed, I went ahead and opened the box and looked at it. And I noticed the radio, which was the radio was wrapped separately in plastic and the battery was separate in plastic. It it looked like it had been unfolded. It you know, typically when you when you get a radio and it's wrapped in plastic, you can kind of tell that it's been wrapped once, put in the box, and not opened. This looked like it had been opened once. Well, I took the radio out of the plastic bag, and apparently this piece up here at the top, where the name is, is another piece of metal, and it was just glued on with a spot of glue right here. It was no longer glued on. It was loose. And this piece of metal, which was is black, and this piece of metal, which is silver, really made the radio look like junk. Total 100% junk. So I immediately wrapped it back up, put it back in the box, got a return uh, authorization, and took it back and took it to UPS within 20 minutes. I, I didn't even want to have it in my possession any longer. I just wanted to get rid of it. So, unfortunately, by doing that, I can't show you the problems. I can only illustrate them on this picture here. So, uh, I'm totally disappointed. It was great that I got it in two days. Uh, number one, the packaging uh, failed. Number two, it looked like it had been opened before. Number three, this piece up here at the top had come loose. And number four, I didn't, this real, this silver piece, or it's, I think it's dark metal, look at, that really looked like junk. It looked like something off of a cheap metal toy. I mean, it looked terrible. Oh, the last thing was this little name, or yeah, model number plate down here was on cockeyed. It wasn't even on straight. So off it went. And uh, I told him, just give me a credit or, or send me money back. I don't want another one of these. Now, that being said, what's really strange is the videos that I had watched on the previous model, it, from the videos, it looked like a pretty decent radio. And the the people commented that, yeah, it's a pretty hefty, uh, well-built radio. But this one was a piece of junk. I mean, even if it wasn't broken, it was a piece of junk. And the fact that it broke so easy, uh, and I, I still suspect it was a return that got turned around and shipped right back out. That's my suspicion. And it may be that the person that returned it just said, I don't want it. He didn't say that it was broken. And uh, therefore, they just shipped it back out. I don't know if they're allowed to do that or not, but they sh return, took the return one and shipped it back out. So anyway, totally disgusted. Uh, kind of given up on this because, um, like I said in my previous video, I don't need another radio. Um, my friend decided he didn't want another radio. And I definitely don't want this one. And I hate to get another, I hate to get the older version and then have a problem with it and then have to return it because I know Amazon tracks returns and they see two returns back to back for the same type of radio and they'd probably be a little suspicious. So anyway, I'm not going to order one. I'm not going to review it. So that's the story. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the bad news. Bye-bye.